What's up, you guys? It's Key Amber Vaughn, aka Coach Key, coming back to you with another video. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you're not new, welcome back. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and also tap the bell so that you are notified of every new video that I post. So as you guys can tell by the title of this video, it's time to go through the week for paycheck to paycheck budget for the month of April. This is my last paycheck to paycheck budget for April. If you guys missed the paycheck to paycheck budget results for the month, the month, <laughs> the week three budget, I will go ahead and try to remember to link that up in the eye in the sky. I did go ahead and get started just a little bit. So the May, not the May, y'all, I'm all over the place. The April budget ends on May 2nd. So this is my last week. Just to update you guys on a couple of things, um, I did have to go ahead and cancel the contract that I just recently accepted. That contract was in Springfield, Missouri. I went ahead and canceled it because they basically came back and said, look, these are the policies and it is what it is. And I'm absolutely okay with that. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I will go ahead and link that video up in the eye in the sky. That was the last video I just put out. Um, my travel nursing rant and how I was pissed. I'm still kind of pissed. I'm not going to lie to you, but I'm a firm believer that you know, when one door closes, another one opens up and typically the one that opens up is way better for you. So I did go ahead and submit a my package for a new position and that position is closer. It pays more. And I did tell this agency, this is a totally different agency that I'm working with for this. I told her, listen, if I get this position and I like it, I will tell you that I will probably extend and continue to extend and extend because it is so close to home. It pays so well. And I think it, it'll be a good fit for me if I end up getting the job. So y'all wish me well with that. Okay. So our income for this week is $1,068.61. So I am going to go ahead and do the fixed variable. And once I get to the savings, we will go to the weekly allocations page and we will go ahead and do the allocations. Remember this month, my allocations are 65% checking and 35% savings. So the first thing I am going to do is come to where I do my monthly overview. This is really important to me, you guys, to do it monthly and then break it down by paycheck. So I had estimated that I would make at least $900 for this paycheck. And you guys can see I did make that. And the only two things we have, we have one fixed expense, which this is the last month that this fixed expense will actually be a personal expense. And then we only have the variable expense of the budget. And that's it. No other business expenses or anything. So, oh, also... I am doing a different savings plan and I'm going to explain that to you guys once we get to the savings part. So there's now a plan C. All right. So let me zoom y'all in. So we got fixed. Okay. So like I said, the only thing we have is that roadside assistance. which is supposed to come out tomorrow on the 27th, but I just checked my bank account and it came out today. So I'll probably from here out, here on out, just go ahead and put for the 26th. I'm not really sure why it came out a day early. It typically doesn't. And that is $7.99. And then we're just gonna do unbudgeted. So total is $7.99. Remaining, let's pull the calculator out. We have 1068.61, and we're gonna subtract the 799. So we still have $1,060.62 left over. Okay, so again, the only variable expense we have is the budget gas, groceries, all of that. No due date and the amount is going to be 225. Oh, and let me put unbudgeted. I've been doing good, y'all remember to end up put that. So now we got the total is the 225. So remaining we have 
So now let's go to savings and we're going to go to the weekly allocations page. Okay, so let's see how much we have to allocate. And then, of course, because this is the last week and you guys know I balanced myself back down to $4,000, because of that, we do have to actually add in for the savings that we send at the end of the month to reconcile down. So let's go ahead and get to this allocations page. All right, so we are in this week here. And... What I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and write in the 65% and the 35%. So we got the 10, 68, 61. And 65% would end up being 694.59. I personally don't round up because I'd rather have that penny in savings. It's just my personal preference. So the 1061.68, and I'm going to subtract the 694.59, gives me 374.02, which I am going to put all of this in my miscellaneous um, sinking fund. So before, what my plan B was, was once I funded my car sinking fund, uh, $350 for the month. Everything from there on out that was sent to savings would be half towards the car sinking fund and half towards miscellaneous. Well, I just had to come out of my uh, car sinking fund. Like I think it was a thousand dollars to fix my car, which I can't remember if I did that last month or this month, but needless to say, I did just have to take $1,300 out of my miscellaneous sinking fund to pay for some medical bills. Um, it's just, it was a whole whirlwind, but I do still have like 500 something dollars I do have to pay, which that's going to come out of my May budget. So no big deal. So in that case, what I do want to do, I want to refund myself the entire, what is it going to be? like $2,000 before I start putting money back into my car sinking fund. And that's only because I do have some future investments that I'm thinking about doing. And for me, that's more important than funding my car sinking fund because I do still have quite a bit of money in my car sinking fund. And I think I'll be okay for any upcoming expenses. Or do I want to do half and half still? Y'all, how do I want to do this? Hmm. All right, let me go into, I'm going to go into my ally account real quick and see how much I have in each of those accounts, the car sinking fund and the miscellaneous sinking fund, because now that I'm talking it out, I don't know which way I want to do it. So my car and miscellaneous sinking funds are about the same. The miscellaneous is about $400 less. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this entire thing into miscellaneous, but then whatever I have to reconcile myself back down to $4,000 at the end of the month, I think I'm going to split half and half. And I think from here on out, I'm just going to split everything half and half. Because before you guys knew that I put money into my income tax sinking fund, my miscellaneous and my car sinking fund, I'm no longer funding my tax sinking fund. I've paid my taxes. I still have $3,800 left in there. Um, but I have now completely separated the personal and business income. My business income is through the form of an LLC. So when I get paid my income through my LLC, I automatically put 20% off to the side in a savings account for that particular reason of paying taxes at the end of the year. I'm not going to touch my income tax sinking fund just in case the 20% is not enough. I do believe that it will be, but just in case it's not, I'll be okay. Um, but as far as my personal income taxes, I should never really owe because I do claim one allowance, which you, I mean, you claim yourself pretty much. And I could go down to zero to be, to make sure that I'm okay, but I think I'm just going to stick there. So probably from here on out, anytime I do any allocations towards savings, it'll just be half car, half miscellaneous slash investment. And I'm going to keep it at that. So let's go ahead and do this because me putting this in here pretty much brings my miscellaneous and car sinking fund to about even because there's actually, let's see, not, yeah, $390 less in the miscellaneous. So we're going to do that. 
And sorry for the whole spiel, but y'all know I like to talk things out and I like for you guys to hear me talk it out so that, you know, you guys understand my thought process behind what I do. You probably never completely understand why I do what I do, but at least if I talk it out, you you might get a little bit of it. Okay, so like I said, we're going to do this to the miscellaneous sinking fund. And I'm actually going to send that after I finish recording this video. So today's the 26th and the amount is 37402. But then we also have to do and I typically think I think I always write unbudgeted, but I think I want to write like reconciliation. No. Hmm. Let's just I'm going to stick with the unbudgeted. Just so it's seem seamless with all the other categories. And this one will actually end up being sent on the last day of the budget, which is for, not for. Five, two. Okay, yeah, five, two. So in order to calculate this, we have to do the reconciliation at the bottom first to see what the account should end up at if we spend, you know, everything that's in the budget as it shows now. Which, of course, if we end up not spending the whole 225 on the budgeted expenses, that means that we'll have more left over to send to the savings at the end of the month. So I can't do the total yet. So let's come down here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the beginning balance is the ending from last week, which was forty one sixty five forty two. And then the income is one thousand sixty eight sixty one. And I'm just going to go ahead and write this for the actual as well. So let's see what that totals out to be. 4165.42 plus the 1068.61 is $5,234.03. <clears throat> so fixed, we have $799. Variable is $835.62. No, hell to the now. <laughs> My bad, y'all. It's 225. Then savings, we have three, actually, no. So let's see what that is first. 799 minus the 225 gives us $5,001.04 which means if we subtract the $4,000, that means that we should end up putting an extra 1,100, not, oh y'all, I can't read today. $1,001.04, right? Because after we subtract fixed variable and the savings of the 374.02 that we're about to send now, this is what we should be left over with. So if I add the 374.02, that means that total what we should end up sending to savings by the end of this budget or the end of this week is going to end up being $1,375.06. Now to double check the math, 5234.03 minus 799 minus 225 minus, oh wait, wait a minute. Okay, wait, I lied. Big lie. Okay. So the total should be that $1,001. Okay. 52.3403 minus 7.99 minus the 2.25. Okay. Minus the $4,000. So that's the total that we should send. So I'm going to put the total here. Now, if I subtract the 374.02, that means that at the end of the month, when we reconcile down to 4,000, what I should have left over to send is 627.02. 
<clears throat> so let's go ahead and double check the math one last time. Seven ninety nine minus two twenty five minus the one thousand one dollars and four cents is four thousand. So that's correct. So what I want to do, the plan, is to send half of the, <clears throat> I'm budgeted savings to the car sinking fund and half to miscellaneous slash investment sinking fund and we should be good there. So like I said, if I don't end up spending this whole 225 up here for the budget, which I shouldn't, that means that I should be able to send more so you guys will be able to see at the end of this budget what ends up happening. The last thing that I do want to do before my camera dies out on me, I'm gonna go ahead and write in here. What was it? Three... 7402. And then when we reconcile down to zero, I'll put the last one into this savings right there. So this is the plan that I have for my money to make for me this week. Stay tuned to see how well I do. I think I did pretty good considering this was supposed to be a low income month of $1,800, but I think that I ended up making about 2000 like 2300 give or take. So everything went pretty well. Now I can tell y'all May is going to be, it, it's looking a little tragic, but it's okay because you know, I got things going. So we'll see, but I'll keep you guys updated on the whole travel nurse thing and everything with the new assignment that I have just submitted for. I'll keep y'all updated on that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. But other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.